I would like to welcome you all uh, in the lecture series of technological innovations in uh, management and entrepreneurship. Uh, in this video, I'm going to discuss the topic, what are the major differences between management and administration? Uh, you know, uh, there are both the terms are very much similar. What are the major things you can bifurcate between uh, management and administration? Let us have a brief discussion. At the end of the session, you can easily bifurcate what is the difference between management and administration. Let's get started. Remember, management, if I talk about management, it's mainly concerning for like uh, operations and the middle level, especially middle level and uh, lower level, uh, level uh, particular levels of management. Where if I talk about administration, it's mainly focusing from the top level management. That is a ma major obs observation which I made. We can say like administration uh, is the focus on implementation and coordination of activity uh, within the organization, mainly focusing on the implementation and the coordination of activity. Uh, so, and a, a, a plan will be there, how to implement the plan and uh, coordinate all the concerned activities. So, if I talk about the management, it involves broader aspects of uh, like the planning, organizing, staffing, leading and controlling. There are five like functions of management that we already discussed. So, these are the main uh, thing which, uh, which you can make a note. So, here implementation and coordination of activity where management uh, comprises like the planning, uh, organizing, uh, staffing, leading. Uh, then controlling, etc. Okay, that is the first difference you can make. Prepare a table. In the first column, you can write like uh, administration, then management. Similarly, if I talk about like uh, administration, let's look at administration. It involves like a policy making, establish, formulation of policies, formulation of rules, regulations, guidelines, and action to the employees and ensure the organization performs in, or works in a better efficient manner. When it comes to management, it involves like uh, guiding, directing, leading the employees towards achieving the organization goal. So this is another uh, difference like uh, management and administration. Okay. So major policies, then rules, everything will be formulated from the top management side. So that is belong to administration where management includes like uh, guiding the lower level people or guiding the people, those who are belong to that particular uh, levels of organization and uh, motivate them and uh, let them achieve the goal of the organization. That is actually called uh, management. Similarly, uh, if I talk about the administra administration, the administrator is the key point. Key point of conduct is administrator, where the key point of conduct is uh, conduct from the management is manager. For example, HR manager, marketing manager, financial manager, like that. Administrator actually one of the one position, administrator of an organization, uh, like we can say like that. So management is, uh, if I talk about the management, uh, we already said, uh, explained that uh, uh, it involves like uh, guiding the people, motivating the people. So we can say like the management is more dynamic. It is action oriented and focused on achieving the goals through the efficient resource utilization. If I talk about the administrator, it is more concerning for establishing the stable framework, like uh, putting the, formulating the policies, ensuring the rules, then maintaining the other within the organization, like a formulation of rules, the policy, policy making, policy formulation, those frameworks are comes under administration, where management is actually called dynamic process. It's an action oriented. Uh, also, it will motivate the employees to achieve uh, the common goal. Also, it uh, focus on optimum utilization of resources. You can prepare a column. One first column, you can prepare management, then administration, so that uh, it is easy to understand and you can present the examination in a better manner. Okay, so let me continue further. So if I talk about the levels, let us talk about the levels. So administration is concerning mainly for the top levels of management. Okay. Uh, if I talk about the, like the management, uh, it is like uh, mainly we can say like, like lower level management, lower level and the middle level. Okay. Management is actually more jobs are concerning at the lower and the middle level management. Okay. That is another difference. In the next difference is Role of management is just like an executive nature, where a role of uh, administrator that is actually decision, decision in nature, decision, decision in nature. So also the managers take a strategic and uh, tactical decision. Okay. Uh, and also setting the goals, formulating the plans to achieve them, where administrators implement the policies, procedures, rules established by the management. Uh, so that is actually uh, the major difference. So that also you can add. So mainly tactical, crucial decision, setting of the goal, objectives, formulating the plans, etc. will be taken by the man managers, where administrator will be mainly focusing on development of policies, procedures, protocols, etc. So that is another uh, difference. But uh, both are almost similar, but there are some differences that you can observe. 
okay by the by saying that if you, if you are not studying the management subject uh, generally we say that both administration and management is same but whenever we are studying the topic you will come to know that both are entirely different so management takes an accord for directing and controlling the functions of an organization where administration is mainly for like uh, planning and organizing function like uh, policies for framework rules regulations etc et will be set by the administration so uh, the management is mainly focusing on motivating the people and getting the work done by others like uh, make them to reach that particular goals and objectives that is actually focusing by the uh, management hope you got an idea about the difference between management and administration now i'll be showing you one diagram uh, that will depict uh, the, the like uh, the different uh, like the different uh, different levels of administration and management okay, let us talk about administration so most of the like the top level management here you can see this particular layer board of directors all are like uh, administrative level even president also like uh, they are also consuming the most the space in this particular diagram general manager you can see like, in this fashion if i talk about the administrative section work manager it is like the segment that the area is very less when it comes to the foreman foreman level means so it's mainly like operational level so operational level that particular uh, operational level for the foreman they are spending like the very less uh, space for this so we can say that uh, most of the in administration most of the people are actually below the top management all the administrative activity will be done by the top management so when it comes to the management, please uh, have a look on this. I'll be showing you. So when it comes to uh, the, administ uh, the administrative level, look at this. So foreman means uh, mainly like uh, they are belong to the uh, operational uh, managers, operations, mainly like day-to-day uh, -day activity, day-to-day -day operations, uh, getting uh, operation of machines, so operation of men, machine, material, etc. So here contributing more. If I talk about the work manager, just like we can say like the team, team leader. Team leader is also like uh, one of the middle level manager. When it comes to the general manager, you can see, we look at this. Uh, here also like uh, the space is actually average. When it comes to the board of director, that uh, space is actually, you can see it is very less. That is the major thing we can able to time spent for the administration and management. If I administration, more time will be spent by the board of director. For management, uh, like a foreman, they are actually below the lower level managers. Day to day operations, they are mainly focusing. Okay. So that is the major difference between management and administration. This will be after the examination. This diagram also you can draw if necessary. Also, you can prepare the table like uh, the first column, you can write management and administration so that you can list out the five to six points. Uh, then management policy, uh, like uh, implementation and administration is policy formulation. Management is actually mainly focusing on policy development, policy implementation. Policy formulation will be done by the administration who is below the top management. So management is actually mainly for implementing that policy. So why that uh, policy implementation is required to achieve the goals and objectives. So management function, it is just like an executive nature. Uh, the like uh, administrative function mainly by legislative and determinative, like a decisive nature. Okay, this, these are the things. Okay, so you can prepare the two tables and you can uh, point out. Let me know if you have any doubts regarding this, topic, this particular topic. You can put up in the comment box. I can easily answer that. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you are watching our channel first time, I request you to subscribe our channel. Also give a like and uh, motivate us. Kindly uh, give your valuable comments and suggestions for the betterment for further improvement. Uh, if the video is very uh, interesting, I request you to share with your concern, those who are studying or those who are teaching uh, and those who are working in the simpler kind of domain. Thanks for watching this video. Happy learning. Have a great day.